Okay, I'm going to try this new product here. It's not that new, but it's new to me. And uh, it's a Sika Post Fix. And it's supposed to replace uh, Post Set. And we'll see what happens. We'll give it a try. Okay, our post is approximately 41 inches deep. And we're approximately 12 inches in diameter. I would advise to wear a pair of rubber gloves when using this product because I didn't spill any and I still got a little bit on my hands. And it's just like getting that great stuff on you, it doesn't come off very easy. I got out of the camera angle here a little bit. But all I'm doing is rolling the bag down like a toothpaste tube and you'll pop the inner lining of the bag and then you mix both the parts together. And they say you're supposed to mix them for 20 seconds. And you'll see here I'll start the time. The manufacturer suggests rolling the bag over something to mix it. So I tried a piece of three inch diameter PVC pipe, but it didn't work out too good. I found that just rolling it over your thigh worked the best. Once you get it mixed, just cut off a corner of it and pour it in. Once you start pouring, you have to make sure you get all the way around the post. It doesn't flow around like concrete or post set does. Because once it hits the bottom of the hole, it starts to expand up. I was doing my best to get all the product out of the bag and you can start to feel at this point how hot the bag gets because of the chemical reaction that's going on. Here I'm setting the timer for three minutes. The manufacturer states that after three minutes you can take the supports off the post. I did videotape it for the full three minutes. I did speed it up eight times faster for you, but I was kind of impressed that as it expanded, it never knocked the post out of plumb. Well, let's check it out. The three minutes are up. Let's see how hard it is. You can see here that the foam expanded up the hole about 18 inches. Okay, let's take the supports off and see what we got. I wasn't really satisfied with the strength of the post and how sturdy it felt. So I'm gonna put another bag in. Plus, like I said before, I didn't get enough of the Sika all the way around the post and the back side of the post there there's only about a two inch gap and it never flowed around behind the post and you can see here how I just used my thigh to mix the chemicals together worked way better than the PVC pipe Another 20 seconds of mixing, cut off the corner, pour it in.
Okay, it's been <clears throat> exactly two hours, and they say you can attach the fence to it two hours. Well, I don't know. It's not very, it's pretty sturdy. It's not very sturdy. And then you can see here, the second bag didn't even fill up the hole. It filled it up still 13 inches to the top of the hole. And that's with the second bag. So you can see that when I wiggle the post, that the foam is wiggling. And this is sandy soil, but still. Not very sturdy. Okay, here's a down and dirty end product. It cost $9.88 per bag at the local Home Depot. I had to use two bags with tax, cost me a little over $21 to backfill that post. Now, if you're just filling a mailbox, using one post, repair or something. Yeah, that's not too bad, cost effective. But if you gotta do 80 posts, like I have to do, that's a lot of money. You can't spend that kind of money on a backyard fence project. Can't do it, and I won't do it. Also, when you apply the product poured in the hole, it doesn't flow around the post like if you use post set or concrete. So you have to literally put it on every side of the post and if you got a narrow spot you know your hole isn't perfect it's very difficult to get it all the way around you just you can't just assume that it's going to flow around because it doesn't do that well i hope everybody got a little something out of this product review and as always thanks for watching